Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I wanted to go over how to make some uh, some dynamic movement, some uh, movement to where when you have a uh, something like a tank or a spaceship, it doesn't turn on turn on a dime, and neither do people. So you want this kind of kind of orbited movement, uh, uh, and uh, that's what I'm going to go over. So I have this block here to show which way this guy is facing. Uh, so that uh, I can see his rotation over here whenever I tell him to go places. So uh, I have that as a child to him, so it will follow him around. So let's jump into the unit script. So up here in the unit class, we're going to start um, by adding some variables that we need. First, we need a public float uh, rotation speed. We'll set that equal to 2. Uh, then we'll do a private float current rotation speed is equal to, let's say, just 2 as well. Uh, let's do a private bool locked, what is it, locked angle is equal to uh, false. And private bool uh, chose, let's say, chose direction is equal to false. So with those four variables, let's jump down to the where the movement happens inside of the update move, um, as that's where all the magic is happening. What we want to do is let's first set our booleans uh, down here and our else. So when we have reached our destination, we want to reset our two main uh, boolean values that you saw up there. So locked angle will now be equal to false again, and the chose direction will be false. So with that out of the way, we can start doing our movement. You can see that this line here, the transform rigid body direction times the speed, is our movement currently. So let's just delete that, because we're going to do some new movement. Uh, what we need is to check if we don't have our locked angle, so if not locked angle, then we can go ahead and execute uh, this block of code. Um, actually, sorry about that. We do need this. We're just going to change it. So we're going to change it to say the uh, instead of the direction times the speed, we're going to do the transform uh, dot forward. So the way that the character is looking is the way he's going to be moving. Um, so instead of this locked angle, we need a float angle is equal to uh, vector three dot angle, uh, the direction and the transform dot forward. So what this does is it kind of if you've ever done uh, the arc tangent, if you know what math f dot arc, uh, sorry, a tan two, that's an arc tangent. It's kind of the angle between. Uh, if you've used it in other frameworks like X and A or anything like that. Uh, we're just getting the angle from uh, all the direction we're looking right here to the uh, actual direction that we need to be. So that's what that angle is for. So if not chose direction, so if we have not chose the direction yet, let's do if direction.x is less than zero, uh, the current rotation speed is equal to the rotation speed else the current rotation speed is equal to the negative rotation speed and chose direction is equal to true. So with that now let's do if angle is greater than the rotation speed and the angle uh, we don't need that extra and sorry uh, let's just say if the angle is greater than the rotation speed transform dot rotate new vector 3, 0 current rotation speed, and 0. Else, we want to do transform dot look at new vector 3, move to destination dot x, transform dot position dot y, and then move to destination dot z. And locked angle oops, is now equal to true. So I will jump over and show you it, and then I will uh, explain it. So uh, 
if we look at our capsule here, we now have a rotation speed of 2 in there. And if we hit play, select him, and then click, he's going to do this weird orbiting thing. Yes. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, got a, it had a knock at the door. Anyways, uh, you can see that he did that weird like rotation thing there. Uh, he's kind of going all the way around. Oh great, he's pushing somebody. So, after he's done pushing this guy off the edge, <laughs> as you can see, that is something we'll have to work with. Uh, you can see that he's kind of he's kind of acting goofy. Let's go into our script and instead of doing uh, it this direction, if the direction x is less than zero, we're going to set it to the negative rotation speed. And if it's uh, else, set it to the regular rotation speed. That is probably the issue, or that is the issue. Now, if I select him and click over here, he's going to rotate and go towards it. You can see he has a nice turn to him to get to where he's going. Uh, Sometimes it's going to be a little bit weird. Um, if you mess around with the variables, you can see on that extreme he does a rotation like that. And if it's directly behind him, he obviously will just choose from one of the two directions. So uh, that's a quick way of getting that kind of in place. It obviously needs a little bit of work, but I can leave that up to you guys because tweaking takes a long time to go back and forth and test and do all that stuff. Um, so what I will do now is explain kind of what's going on so that when you want to test it you can and you can uh, edit it how you, to your needs. So first we have a rotation speed. This is the kind of like a constant of how uh, fast the character is going to rotate. The current rotation speed is altered between either the negative or positive rotation based on where we click and he chooses which way to turn towards to get to his destination. The locked angle uh, it just says that we don't need to keep updating our angle anymore, and the chose direction says that the character has already chosen the direction he's going to turn. So in our update move, uh, let's jump straight down to this uh, if locked angle block. So if if we have not locked the angle, we need to get the angle. So the angle will be equal to the vector three angle, uh, as I told you, the direction and the forward, and uh, the if uh, we have not chosen the direction, this, so this is going to happen once inside of this block, then we're going to check to see if the direction.x, this is a normalized number if you remember, the direction is equal to, uh, well, basically the direction and normalized. So if it's x, which is left and right, um, is uh, less than zero, we want him to decide to rotate to the left. And if his x is greater than 0, we want him to decide to rotate to the right. So that's why we do the negative and positive rotation here. And we say that we've chosen the direction, so we don't need to do this again until he reaches his destination. So now we're going to do uh, if angle is greater than rotation speed. So if the angle is greater than rotation speed, which is 2, then we need to rotate. And what this does is just rotates uh, slowly, since we have our current rotation speed. He's only going to rotate by 2 degrees each time it runs through this update. So if the angle is equal to 1, then 2 degrees would overshoot him, and he would be jumping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and never reach his destination. So if the angle is less than the rotation speed, we're just going to snap him to where he needs to look, um, and which is going to be uh, the look at. Um, so transform look at and then the uh, transform basically X and Z and we're going to keep our own Y so he doesn't rotate on the Y and start flying away. And then we're going to set our locked angle to true. So now we have we are looking directly at where we want. We don't want to rotate anymore so stop doing this whole block. We're going to continue to move to the destination and once that we reach our destination we uh, reset these. Now you noticed when I pressed play uh, and tried to move this guy, if I click again he won't start to move that direction until he reached it and I think it caused an issue right there where he just flew right over the position that he was supposed to go to. So what I need to do is reset the locked angle and chose direction when I right click. 
So the reason that he flew right off is that he locked his angle, and his new destination was over here. So he just kept traveling because he never he he thought that he never needs to turn again. So we will need to reset our locked angle and chose direction uh, when we do a get mouse button up one. So in this block, let's add our locked angle. In fact, let's add it to the bottom to be neat. I like to add it down, new stuff to the bottom unless it needs to be before things. So now if I were to hit play, he will rotate and he'll continue to rotate to reach his new des destination without having to reach it, um, or to look towards his new destination without having to reach it. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. I hope it helped out and I hope you're able to expand it. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if you like this series and you like tons of other things like MySQL and uh, HTTP, HTTP, HTML5, Canvas, JavaScript, C++, C Sharp, Python, uh, you name it, you like it, you can subscribe, and I will be happy to answer all of your questions. So, uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching.